All right, Raptors fans, we're back with another video today. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing some Raptors trade targets, just talking about the Raptors in general. But the Raptors right now, they freaking suck. They have a top 10 defense and almost a worse offense in franchise history. They're basically at the bottom of the league in offense. Why do you say this? Because there's no offensive flow. You have Fred Van Vliet, who's basically doing nothing on this team. Yeah, Pascal basically doing all their load and getting about almost 30 to 20 points a night in consistency. And you have OG that's basically been playing out of his mind. And Scotty Barnes, Gary Trent Jr. and Pepe M. Lee, the trio, they all just been disappearing. So today we're going to break down Raptors trades. Um, I basically got put up a short about Fred Van Lee for his last shot he basically took against Mad Magic. And it's doing pretty well. It's doing really well, actually. And I got new subscribers about like plus 10 or plus 14. And we're almost at we're almost 10 subscribers away from 150, so you can hit that subscribe button and help me hit 150 ASAP. That'd be very great. So, me breaking down some rapid targets first. I'll just say my list of players where I have per position, and I'll break down each player individually. So, the first player I have on my list um, is Jakob Porto. Um, Jakob Porto, he got traded for Kawhi Leonard, and he knows Raptor system. He provides us very much good rim protection. So I wouldn't really mind him around, I wouldn't really mind him along the squad. And he gives us just basically high end versatility and strength. So he's a very good big, he's a very polished big, but the thing is, I think his contract is expiring. So he might have to pay him. So I don't know if he want to make this move, but the rappers have been wanting to get him back for almost a while now. Even, yeah, even last on the trade deadline. But I think Yaka probably a good ad. Um, I know he's giving almost 10 points per game. Um, he's one of the best bench scorers in the league for a big. And he basically has all the Daniels you can as a big, and you know this Raptors roster from head to toe. So why not include him? He could be very great with our front court. And he can basically replace Ken Birch because Ken Birch, though he's a good screener and basically a presence in the paint, I think Yako Pro is the seven footer that we need in his team. And he basically fast and basically has to tell to basically move around with everyone in the league. So I'll put Yako Pro basically at center for number one. Number two, um, for the guard position. I'm gonna lean Jordan Clarkson, but you know what? I'm gonna call number two. I'm gonna put for guards and it's like number two, they can say or. I'm gonna put Jordan Clarkson or Colin Sexton. Okay. Why I put these two? Because the Raptors, they clearly need bench help and need um, guard help because Fed Van Lee needs guard help because Fed Van himself and Jordan is gonna inhale at times and he's, play, he's really playing off the ball. When Pascal and Scotty aren't playing through your primary ball handlers, Fed has to do the work and basically offload himself. So I put Colin Sexton and Basically, Jordan Clark because they both can shot create and create their own shots. They're both shooting a fair percentage in the league right now. And they're basically good role players. They know their role and they won't really overcommit to guys like Pat Garcia coming, Gary Trent Jr. and Scotty Barnes. And it can help the Raptors what they're building as they're still young. And they basically can do, can do the at most most. So I'll put Colin Sexton and Jordan or Jordan or Jordan Clarkson, but they, they've been really having a good season this year. And for the Utah Jazz, they basically were started, they started to be caught. But I think they're going to tank, so they want to trade their players for someone like a Mal, Kai Flynn, Ken Burch, or even Fed Van Vliet. We'll get, we'll get a deal done. But I just put number two, um, Jordan Clarkson or Colin Texan. Um, for number three, um, put Bradley Beal. Because the Raptors have been linked to Bradley Beal for a while, and he's on a max contract. He gets very much security, but he has a no trade clause. So I don't know how the Raptors will do this. But Bradley Beal, he gives a good scoring punch, with the punch off the bench. Um, he's an okay to either, all right. He's not really a good defender. He can play a little bit of defense. But he can provide basically that scoring you need off the bench. And he can basically be a scorer you need with Pascal, Gotti, and Trent Jr. and OG. And that would be a good starting five. But if Bradley builds on our team, he could basically make us almost a contender because his offense, his skill set, and what he brings to our team and the ability to just put the ball in the bucket. But you know what? I'm for number three. You know, I'll come back to that. But number four. I put Miles Turner because this guy Miles Turner, he's playing very much better with Perry Halburn. And, uh, yeah, the pace has been something else. And I think Turner's cap trade by just capitalized now. And I don't think the Tracers want to trade him, but the rappers need a big on our roster and someone can switch up back and play the Soldier Baca role. So I think our Miles Turner can be a good ad for our team and just basically start to flow and do all the little things. So. Miles Turner having a good season. I'm pretty sure that was almost a close to 15 points per game. And he's shooting a three ball at a good rate. And a good versatile shot blocker. And he's helped our defense out a lot. And if you want to trade, maybe like Fred or even, I wouldn't say Trent, but something like a Malachi Thunder can Burke if he's done, I'll do it. But yeah. And for the small forward, 
And for a small four position, also known as a shooting guard position, I'll put another guard here. The Raptors don't really need forwards, they need more guards. So I'll put Bardon Bardanovic. Last season for the Hawks, the Raptors should have traded for him. They're going to trade for Gordon Dragic, but he didn't get it done. Because I think Bogdan's contract basically expired this season or next. Or a season after, but I think Bogdan, he's basically a good shooting shooter. He's a good bench for at the bench, he can value scoring. He's a good sharpshooter, going to be a good ad because he can shoot threes. He can play the corner, he can play OK defense. He can do a lot for you. Any health basically in all streamer departments, especially with offense, the Raptors are basically a lackluster offense. But yeah, so for all I mentioned, I won't really say much, I won't really say a lot. I just put Buddy Heald, TJ McConnell, and Malik Beasley as honorable mention. So let's get into basically the stats for each enemy player. Colin Sexton right now, he's shooting almost 36% from three, and he's giving you 14 points a night. And he has a field goal percentage of 49%. And he's giving you almost a turn, or less than a turnover per game. And he almost has a steal and, a, and a, almost a block and a half per game. So Colin Sexton is fitting pretty well with his roster. Um, he basically, if you can get, you'll get more between the Raptors, he's six foot one. But he's about you offensive scoring, so why not Colin Sexton? And then next, I have Jordan Clarkson. And yeah, for Jordan Clarkson, giving you 18 points, three rebounds, four assists, and he's shooting a three point shot at 33%. That was a bit questionable, but I think he can get it done. And he has a true shooting percentage of, of 54%, so he's beyond a league efficiency. Miles Turns giving you 17 points, eight rebounds, and one assist per game. And his three point shot basically at 41%, which is very much good. And he's giving you almost two blocks per game. And he's basically almost giving you a steal per game per category. So that's pretty great. And he's giving you, and he's giving you a true shooting at 67% combined. So that's very great to see. But yeah, Miles can be a good actor for his team. And Yaka Poro lasts a lot in East. Yeah, Yaka Poro giving you 12 points, nine rebounds, three assists. And he's basically giving you a field goal percentage of 64% on five attempts. And he shoots the free throw at 51%, though it can improve a little bit. But he gives you almost a block and almost a steal per game. So he's pretty much active. And the overall, he has a true shooting percentage of, of 63%. So I'll put Yaka Poro there. And then Buddy Heald and Bogdan Vandanovic, I'm pretty sure they give you almost 10 points per game. And you end the same with Bogdan. So that's why I got to say the Raptors trade targets. If you guys want more videos of the break these down basically in trades, um, for the trade basically, It'll be a long video, but I'm able to do it for a rapper's trade, but it's just a, a list of players I would trade for right now. So if you are new, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, as we're really close to 150 subscribers. So every subscriber greatly helps, and it's your boy, Demi, and I'm out, man. Have a great day, y'all. Peace.